payoffs. Me taking, I thought you towed out for a drive. Um, I just got this thing a week ago. Um, I haven't had time to make a video yet. I got this last Monday, but uh, I finally got around to it. I'm making one now. Uh, I actually remembered, and it's white out. I got the time for it. Um, so I'm just driving down the road right now. I'll be home in just a couple minutes. I was right up there. And when I get there, I'll tell you a little bit more about this and show it around. But right now, just thinking out for a nice little drive. So I got this truck because it was, uh, well, first off, it was a very nice truck and it's decently priced. Actually, we overpaid a little bit for it, but it's a low price, low enough for me at least, because if you haven't noticed, I work in McDonald's and don't really make a lot. And this is somewhat affordable for me. Actually, it wasn't because I'm paying my dad off for it because I had nowhere near enough for it, but I really need a new vehicle because my car is basically dead. But I got glad and because it's a truck that quite literally has my name on it. Uh, it's a Dakota, and my name is Dakota, so it fits me very well. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it's a 2001 extended cab. There's a camper on the back. This is actually the second truck I've been able to make jokes about. Before this, I had a S10 for a little bit. I had that when the, the iPhone S6 came out, and everyone said that they wanted an S6, and I could say, I got something even better. I got an S10, so I... So, yeah, I know. Got some cheesy puns, but... but this is all what it looks like. I'll show you a little bit more when I get home in just a minute. I've only had it for a week, and I've got a feel for it. Feels very nice, handles nice, brakes are good, and all that. Personally, I like it way better than the Chevy, which may not be very fair since it is old, well, a lot newer. Six years makes all the difference when it's six years from 95 to 2001. But yeah, this is our truck, no doubt, there's no comparison between that. It has way more stuff than it did. It was between this and actually uh, Silverado, and we got this because it wasn't a whole lot more than Silverado. It had a lot more features and stuff. And it was a lot nicer condition and all that. Silverado, and also it's a lot newer. The Silverado was a 93. It was in really good condition for 93, but this one's even better. Okay, so now that we just got home, I'll show you, tell you a little bit about this thing. Okay, so you got the lights, I guess, will turn on because it looks a little hard to see. Okay, we got our radio there. We have a cassette player and a CD, which is very nice. No aux, sadly. So I've just been listening mostly to the radio. I also got, uh, I did get a cassette adapter. So got it. But it's really crappy and doesn't work on my phone too well. So can't really use that. Got some pockets for Jeep. It's got three uh, outlets. It's got one there, one over there. It's got one down there too. So three power outlets, very nice. There's three small ones. It's got three cup holders. Um, this little glove compartment. The pockets are nice and deep. So a lot of stuff can fit down there. Power windows. Although that one doesn't actually go down from that side. Uh, here we got a sunglasses holder. I got this thing, which gives me various info, most of which is pretty useless. Tells me the temp and the direction, which is all that's really helpful. Everything else like tells me the trip, the average miles, which is not right because it's been 15 years since 2001. I don't think that's too accurate. This thing tells me how many miles per gallon I'm getting at the current conditions of how I'm driving. And I've seen that get as high as 71, so I think that's fucking lying to me. 
uh, not even sure what that is. The time, so the military time. That's it. Got the mirror, which you turn this on at night, and it reduces headlight glare from vehicles behind you. And we've got our seats back here, which they fold up and give you more space. Uh, there's cup holders on each side of them. The window's open. This window opens too. We actually have a camper in the back. Uh, if you didn't know this, I did just come from GameStop. I actually bought Far Cry Primal, which I've been very excited for. Uh, if any of you are gamers and are interested in it, I am going to be making some videos on that. Let's go down and take a look at what this looks like on the outside. Yeah. Looks like looks like it could already use a bath, but very nice, hardly any rust. There is a couple of dents in the back, however. So on my templates. We got the camper. Uh, and we're gonna take the camper off eventually come late summer. But for now we got this. I got a tire in there and you. I got vacuum and stuff, but that's it. But carpet, it's, got, it's carpeted. Whoever had this last put a carpet in here, put this carpet on, so you could sleep in there somewhat comfortably if it's warm enough out. And this light, I think, actually doesn't work. So, but I can't think about it. So, these mirrors also, I think, are hinged. I think. Thought they were. Maybe they're not. I read the manual. It said they could go back or forward, so they shouldn't be fixed. I mean, I'm just not doing the right. And they also have defrosters in them. Um, our instrument panel. It's got 140,000 miles on it. Not too bad. Um, you turn the airbag on and all. That's what that little light is. Uh, well, a cup holders down there are also adjustable, so you can do smaller cups or bigger cups. A few spots for the coins they got there. There's another space, space down there for something. Um, steering wheel's got cruise control on the wheel, and it's also got a uh, stereo controls. I don't know if you can really see the buttons, but it's got buttons on the wheel. Oh, they're up here. Buttons. And then the design controls on the other side. Fortunately, the stereo, think about getting a new one because number one, it doesn't have an aux cord. Number two, the base is kind of blown out. So it's all trouble for me right now. And they are a little bit raspy. Overall, not bad though. They're not like blown out completely, just the base. So you got, this thing's also broken. That I try to fix it, it only puts it aside, and you gotta keep your arm on it, or else it goes up. But, yeah, you know, that, and oh, last I did forget to mention that there are uh, buttons to open a garage door, but we don't have a garage, so it'd be cool if we get a house and we get one, but right now it's useless. But yeah, very nice truck, I am liking it so far, and I'm very happy to get it.